I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from my subscriber. We need to sketch a polynomial and write down its characteristics. The question here is sketch the graph of f of x equals to x cube minus 15 x square plus 2x plus 312 and then discuss its characteristics. So we are given the function f of x equals to x cube minus 15x square plus 2x plus 312. Now it's a cubic equation that means the domain and range is all real number and end behavior we can find from the leading coefficient. The end behavior for this function will be uh, let's write down here end behavior Since the leading coefficient is positive and it's odd, when x approaches negative infinity, y approaches negative infinity. When x approaches positive infinity, y approaches positive infinity, right? And domain and range for this function is all real numbers. Now, important things which we need to find here is x and y intercepts. Now, y intercept is kind of simple y intercept is value of the function when x is 0. So if you substitute 0 here, what do you get? This term will be 0, this will be 0, this will be 0. You get 3, 1, 2, right? So that is the y intercept. Positive 3, 1, 2, right? Now how to find x intercept? Probably the most difficult part here is to find x intercept. Let us understand how to find that. It's mainly because of this that the question has come. To find x-intercept, we can, we need to factor this equation and we'll apply the factor theorem. It says that the possible x-intercepts will be at x equals to the values which are factor of 3, 1, 2, right? 3, 1, 2 is even number. So the factors, there are many factors like plus minus 1, plus minus 2. When you add, you get plus minus 3. So let me write down the possible factors, which is plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3. So likewise, there are many factors, right? Also 4, because 12 ending, you can do plus minus 4. And you can try with 6, 6 times 5 and then 2, so plus minus 6 and so on. So these are all the possible factors. What you need to do is take a calculator, substitute these values one by one, right? Substitute these values one by one and then see if you get 0 or not. So the value which gives you 0 will be the factor. So I did this exercise. So when I substituted, for example, f of 1, so if I write 1 here, I get 1 cube is 1 minus 15 plus 2 plus 3, 1, 2, right? So that gives you 1 minus 15 plus 2 plus 3, 1, 2. Clearly it is not 0. It is around 300, right? So likewise, you try the values one by one. So when you try 6, f of 6, at that time what happens? Let us check the value, right? So it becomes 6 cubed minus 15 times 6 squared plus 2 times 6 plus 3, 1, 2, right? So when you do this, you get actually a zero. So I calculated and therefore I figured it out. So you have to do this exercise. Just to save some time on this video, I did this math. So it is 2 times 6 plus 3, 1, 2. And when you do that, you do get 0, right? So, so we got the first 0 by trial and error. And that is the process. Sometimes it may take long, like this case, right? You'll multiply, you'll substitute so many values to get it. But once you get this value, 
then what you need to do is divide by the factor so what we'll do now is we'll divide x cube minus 15 x square plus 2 x plus 3 1 2 with x minus 6 right we should get 0 as our remainder let's start so we have to take care of the first term so we'll multiply by x square so we get x cube minus 6 x square and when you take away 6 minus 6 from minus 15 you get what you get minus 9 x square right bring down 2 x now you have to multiply by minus 9 x so you get minus and minus becomes plus 9 times 6 is 54 so you get 54 x and here you get minus 9 x square when you take away uh, you get minus 52 x plus 3 1 2 and now you have to multiply by minus 52 right so you get minus 52 so you get minus 52 x 52 times 6 minus minus becomes plus 6 times 2 is 12 2 1 6 times 5 30 3 1 2 so you get remainder 0 as expected but what you really got here is another factor so one of the factors is x minus 6 and now we have a quadratic equation which is x squared minus 9x minus 52 right so what we can do here is write down the equation in the factored form so we have f of x equals to x minus 6 times x squared minus 9x minus 52 now this is a quadratic equation two factor quadratic equation since the coefficient is 1 we just need product and sum product of minus 52 sum of minus 9 now cards have 52 13 times 4 right negative that means x minus 13 times x plus 4 is how you could factor this right once you have factored you have all the zeros so what we have here is zeros or sometimes we say x intercepts so let's say x intercepts at x equals to 6 x equals to 13 and x equals to minus 4 so these are the x intercept when we say zeros we say zeros of order 1 all are linear zeros okay so these are all linear zeros that is important to understand so we know y intercept linear zeros and end behavior that is actually enough to sketch polynomial graph so let's now sketch this polynomial graph so we have two zeros on the right side i will just use a scale kind of like this most of my sketches are kind of rough anyway but it helps to understand the concept end behavior is when x is approaching negative infinity y approaches negative infinity that means we are in quadrant 3 and we are actually moving from quadrant 3 to quadrant 1 so this indicates the end behavior y intercept is there it makes sense so the graph will kind of go like this and come back so what i will do here is quickly sketch the graph itself so we'll we'll kind of sketch the graph it is kind of like this right yeah it doesn't look like i mean the scale is way off anyway but when we write down the values it becomes even better i mean so the x intercepts here is this is minus four i'll recommend to do it on a graph paper uh, so that's not that bad first x intercept on the right side of zero is six then the other one is at 13 right and this is the y intercept which will be at we found the value as 312 right 312 so that is the kind of graph which we have right so as far as the characteristics are concerned you can say it has two turning points three and zeros end behavior right domain and range right so those are interesting uh, or important characteristics so so mention end behavior mention the zeros which are which are these right and uh, domain range 
So we know domain of this function is x belongs to real numbers and range is y belongs to real numbers, right? And the end behavior is when x approaches minus infinity, y approaches minus infinity. And when x approaches positive infinity, y approaches positive infinity. I hope these will help you to understand the basic concept. The most critical thing in this particular example is indeed to find the x-intercepts and that is how you do it. As you have seen, at times it may take much longer to find the values. I am Anil Kumar and I hope that helps you to understand the very basic concepts. Thank you and all the best.